Hey, welcome to Fishtails. I'm gonna make a quick trip out to the ranch to test this fly. Tied this thing up the other day. I guess I tied it up on Sunday. Sunday evening. It's got a few of my latest adjustments to it. I'm hoping it'll work better. I'm more interested in the action. It's awful blasted hot right now, so I don't think there'll be any bass up in the shallow water. But I am very interested to see what happens when a fish approaches it. I've been not having a lot of luck. They'll look at a fly, come up right to it, and look at it, and then just back away. So I'm hoping I've made some adjustments that'll work. We'll find out in just a few minutes. Yeah, well it's, it's 6.30 right now. That give me about an hour to fish. But that should be enough time. We'll see. All right, y'all hang on. All right, sports fans. There's my latest froggy fly. I'm going to fish Antone. This Lake Antone. He's cleared out spots on the bank, which I think might hold some fish. It is awful dang hot, and the wind is not blowing at all. It's probably close to 100 dang degrees. Let me get my paddle and my life vest and my hat and hit it. It dives. That fly dives. When you pull it, it dives. That's good. That is good. Rides straight, too. That's fine. There ain't nothing wrong with a fly that dives because as soon as you stop moving it floats. See there? Comes back up to the surface. Boy, it don't take much to get this boat moving. I'm going to fish right down this side and then right back up the other. I only brought my fly rods today. All I'm going to do is test this fly. The fly dives just like I need it to. As soon as you pull it forward, it dives down. Hmm, I've got a messed up tippet. But, it is certainly not weedless. I think this is going to work fine. Alright, I wanted to make two casts without tangling up, so I went ahead and pulled out that little swivel I had in my fly line. I think it was just giving me trouble. Boy, this thing does dive though. You go to pull it back and it'll dive straight down. We got a big bunch of thunderstorms just north of here, about 50 miles. And they are headed this way. I don't think they're going to make it before dark. They may not make it. They may play out. But that's what's pushing me. Just a little tiny, teeny, tiny breeze. That's it. I'm getting plenty of hits. But they seem to be short. They cannot get it. So I shortened them legs. Pulled about an inch off each one of them. We'll see if this doesn't do the trick. I'm getting more than enough hits. But nothing can seem to hang on to it. I don't think it's been anything of size. I know it hasn't. Whoa. See, there's one messing with it right now. Messing with it right now. Saw a really big fish move out, or something big. Might have been a turtle, but I think it was a fish. Cast it too far. Over top of him. There's my first volunteer. Took three casts to him to get it. But he did get it. Skinny. There's too many bass in here. Alright, buddy. See you later.
I had a lot of action on this fly today, but most of it has been, they just roll it, but they didn't, oops, there's one messing with it right now. That's exactly the kind of action I've been having. I don't know if the hook's too big, hook's too small, fly's too big, fly's too small. But they do just like that. Heat's got them all messed up. There we go. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's another whopper. Yeah. It's that last 15 minutes before it gets too dark. Oh, he threw it. Good for him. Let's see if there's anything back way back in the weeds. Little ones. Lots of little ones. I think they're the only ones that can tolerate that hot water. See, I got another thing from wherever it is chasing it right now. Little cast like that. There he is. Look at him. It's been like that on most casts. Something chases it. Looks at it like that. Whatever they are, they sure don't just stomp on it. See, there's another one hitting it. Look at that. Look at that. He's chasing it. He's trying. I'm trying to be, you know, late on the hook set, give them time to get it in their mouth. I think it's primarily really small bass or brim. Somewhere, there he is. Oh, here he is. There's another whopper. Oh, he let loose. Good for him. Now they're getting active. Hopefully there'll be a big one out here someplace. See, I got one under it. Something's looking at it. Oh, there he is. I'll tell you, there's interest in it in almost every cast. My floating line does not float anymore. Hope that color shows up. That's pretty. A little bit of pink in the sky. Oop, there's a big fish way over there. At least I think that's what it is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish you could have seen that. That fish jumped. Little old bass, about 10 inches long. Jumped clear out of the water. Decent cast. Nice cool breeze just started blowing right out of the north. That thunderstorm is probably collapsing. It's messing with my boat. That's okay, I can steer it with my fly pole. <laughs> now it's pushing me. A little too fast. I can't catch up to my fly. <laughs> this is when it happens. <laughs> when I get way behind the fly. Oh, I hope you can see that sky. Now my boat's moving fast. <laughs> I don't even care. Boy, you can feel it. It's cool air on top, but you can feel it running across the surface of that water and it is just hot. 
Oh, dang it. I had one right there. Oh, that thing will die. There we go. Nice long cast. Look into the sunset. Look at that.